Hello and welcome back to the Second Chance to Live channel here on YouTube. I'm happy to see that you decided to watch this video presentation. Thank you. <clears throat> In today's video presentation, I'm going to share an article with you that I wrote and published on Second Chance to Live several days ago. I create video presentations of my articles for individuals to learn through watching and listening. To read the article, I'll put my glass back on and bring up the article. I want to thank you for your time. You're an important part of my process. Here's the article. Don't let anyone tell you you aren't enough because living with the impact of a brain injury, visible or invisible, can leave you and I feeling unimportant in many ways. But don't let anyone tell you you aren't enough. Unimportant ways that will leave you and I feeling less than, ineffective, ineffectual, weak, feeble, and useless. Feeling as though our lives and our efforts do not matter. But the reality is that we are powerful beyond measure. Powerful beyond measure because of what is in each, what is in each of us. Here's a quote that I like. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. Your playing small does not serve the world. There is nothing enlightened <clears throat> about shrinking so that other people will not feel insecure around you. We, we're all meant to shine as children do. It is not in just some of us. It is in everyone. And as we let our light to shine, we unconsciously give other people permission to do the same as we are liberated from our own fear. Our presence automatically liberates, liberates others. Sir, I just wanted to thank you. You saved my life. And that's an excerpt from the movie Coach Carter. And this quote is attributed to Marianne Williamson. Be aware. We may have individuals in our lives who reinforce the feelings that we have about ourselves of being less than, ineffective, weak, feeble, useless, worthless, and futile. The, those individuals may lead you and I to believe that without their special knowledge, we will not amount to much in life. We may also have individuals in our lives who, although we have achieved yet, we have achieved far beyond all reasonable expectations, despite obstacles and adversity, may still minimize, marginalize, discount, and dismiss who we are and what we have to contribute. Here's another quote that I like. Your time is limited, so do not waste it living someone else's life. Don't be trapped by dogma, which is the which is living with the results of other people's thinking. Do not let the noise of other people's opinions drown out your own inner voice. And most important, have the courage to follow your own heart and intuition. They somehow already know what you truly want to become. Everything else is secondary. And that's by Steve Jobs. We don't have to shrink back. As a result of the individuals who, in practice, minimize, marginalize, dismiss, discount, and by their actions patronize who we are as individuals, we may find ourselves shrinking back. We may find ourselves being lulled into believing that our voice and who we are as individuals really does not matter. We may have people in our lives who communicate to us overtly or covertly that their opinions, not ours, matter. As a result, we may find ourselves discouraged from listening to our own inner voice, our intuition, and our heart. As a result, we may have since paid little attention to our inner voice. As a result, we may have traded our judgment for the judgment of other people. As a result, we may have a difficult time trusting ourselves, a loving God in our process. As a result, we may have been led to believe that we are not enough. Here's another quote that I like that encourages and motivates me. Here's to the crazy ones, the misfits, the rebels, the troublemakers, the round pegs in the square holes. 
<coughs> excuse me, the ones who see things differently, they're not fond of the rules. You can quote them, disagree with them, glorify or vilify them. But the only thing you cannot do is ignore them because they change things. They push the human race forward. And while some, some may see them as the crazy ones, we see genius because the ones who are crazy enough to think that they can change the world are the ones who do. And that's by Rob, S-I-L-T-A-N-E-N. And -E also has been quoted by Steve Jobs. Good news. Well, I have good news for you. We could trade the truth for a lie. Or we could trade it a lie for a truth, for the truth. We are enough. Our inner voice, intuition, and heart do matter. Our inner voice, intuition, and heart will guide us. We can trust ourselves and how we feel led over the opinions of other people. We can trust the process through what is being revealed to us. And we can trust the loving God to lead and guide us each day. We don't have to figure this stuff out on our own. We can ask for help and then follow our inner voice, our heart, and our intuition. We can replace our judgment for the judgment of other people. A loving God will guide us along our journey. And as we are led, we can trust that our light will shine in the darkness, that our presence will liberate other people. And that our being, by being who we are, not who, who other people may want us to believe about ourselves, will give people the courage to carry on with their lives. Through our example, they will in turn let their light shine in the darkness. Through our example, they will be, in turn liberate others. And through our example of being who we are, they will believe in themselves, and will give other people the courage to carry on with their lives and be themselves. Here's another quote that I like. Insist on yourself. Never imitate. Your own gift you can present with the cumulative force of a whole life's cultivation. But of the adopted talent of another, you only have an extemporaneous half-possession. Do that which is assigned to you, and you cannot hope too much or dare too much. And that's by Henry David Thoreau. And here's some other quotes that inspire me. History has demonstrated that the most, that the most notable winners usually encountered heartbreaking obstacles before they triumphed. They won because they refused to become discouraged by their defeats. And that's by DC, B.C. Forbes. Another quote, regardless of your lot in life, you can build something beautiful on it. That's by Zig Ziglar. Another quote, don't judge your day by the harvest you reap, but by the seeds you plant. And that's by Robert Louis Stevenson. Another quote, do what you can with what you have, where you are. And that's by Theodore Roosevelt. Another quote, if you advance confidently in the direction of your dreams and endeavor to live the life that you have imagined, you will meet with a success unexpected in common hours. And that's by Henry David, David Thoreau. Absorb what is useless, reject what is useless, and ask specifically your own. Bruce Lee, I will... I will prepare and someday my chance will come. And that's by Abraham Lincoln. Another quote. What you get by achieving your goals is not as important as what you become what you become by achieving your goals. And that's by Zig Ziglar. Another quote. Decis decision is the spark that ignites action. Until a decision is made, nothing happens. And that's by Wilfred A. Peterson. Another quote, our circumstances are not meant to keep us down, but they are meant to build us up. And that's by myself, Craig J. Phillips, MRCBA. And then another quote by Zig Ziglar, sometimes adversity is what you need to face in order to become successful. And one last quote, in my experience, I have found that our, excuse me, in my experience, I have found that our adversity 
is what has made me successful successful because I refuse to give up because of adversity. And again, that's by myself, Craig J. Phillips, MRCBA. This is the end of the video presentation of the article. Don't give up on yourself because more will be revealed with time. The pieces of the puzzle will come together in the correct order and at the right time. I'll say so long for now. Have a great day and God bless both you and your family. Bye now.